gentlemen and ladies, ladies and gents. I don't know what has changed. Normally, there'd be music in my background, like every video, but this last couple of weeks, you notice I haven't been doing a lot of music. It's not because I, I don't feel music, any kind of music. Okay, as long as we, okay. I know, I know, I know, I love music. See, it, it's already there in my head, you know? Um, I was just thinking, I just played, uh, Bobby Brown in one of my videos and I couldn't get that song out of my head, but now I got, I love music, any kind of music. Okay. I, I can't get that song out of my head now because it's there and there, <laughs> it's going to be there all day. And so I don't need to play music in the background because there's always some type of rhythm in my head. You see, I understood people like Michael Jackson or the George Michaels. If you notice, all of the so-called great singers. Uh, th th are you saying they were great? I'm saying you need to pay attention. That's what I'm saying. You know what I'm saying? Okay. Ladies and gentlemen, what I'm expressing is that all of the so-called greats always talked about music how it was everything, how it was everywhere. You have Beethoven, you have all of these individuals who are known for music, and they always had music playing. I told people since I was a kid, there was always a rhythm in my head. There was always a beat. Now, most people would say, oh, that's so stereotypical of black people. They're always dancing and bopping and boobing and tapping things. And, and I told people that's because we have rhythm. I cannot exist without rhythm. I need rhythm. My walk has a rhythm. Oh, is that why black people walk that way? No, black people don't walk that way because they have a rhythm in their head. Black people walk that way because they're trying to teach their children how to walk by watching chickens. Sorry, there was a guy I knew. His name was Robert, and Robert was a person I met. He was a half-breed, and Robert told me, he says, I got a joke to tell you. I said, what is it? He says, do you know why all black families own chickens? And I said, no, why do all black families own chickens? He said, to teach their children how to walk. And I started rolling. I'm sorry, I was uncontrollable. I was laughing for about 10 straight minutes. I am not, well, maybe two and a half minutes, but I am not kidding you that I could not stop laughing at that stupid joke, as racist as it was. But it wasn't coming from a white person, okay? So don't think that we don't talk about things like that and make jokes about things like that. Not saying that it was right, not saying that it was wrong. I'm saying that junk was hilarious, okay? Because you had to have been there and it had, it was the timing of it when he told me this. The timing was perfect, okay? Ladies and gentlemen, I was just doing a video the video I was doing was pointing out this right here. Not these guys, okay? Uh, this one is a white woman repeatedly called police on client for gardening while black. Yeah, because you guys don't really understand. Do you, un do you get it that in some states like California, it is illegal for you to have a garden? I, I kid you not. In some states, like California, in certain areas, it is illegal for you to have a garden. Ladies and gentlemen, you see this case I talked about the other day where Channel 5 in Brooklyn did a report on this young man right here. How he got handcuffed for trying to cash his own paycheck. Got handcuffed by the police. They called the police on and said that he was threatening somebody, which was a lie. The manager who called the police... He gone. This is the same case. The manager, gone. Gone. By the way, ladies and gentlemen, this man right here, you would not know that he is hearing impaired. No, let's get his face again. Get get that one right there. You would not know that he's a professor and that he's hearing impaired because he talks just as good as everybody else, but he can't hear. Okay? He cannot hear.
ladies and gentlemen, let me explain something to you about this case right here. This is that same case, Channel 5, KSTP. I give them a whole lot of credit because they found out about this story. This, that guy right there, the white boy, not him, him, that one. He is the reporter. He is the one who would not let this go. He was like a dog with a bone and couldn't get enough of that. And he just said, no, I ain't letting this go. That's him right there. Rasmussen, Eric Rasmussen. Eric Rasmussen, he got a letter finally from U.S. Bank, the CEO, and he apologized. But what they did say, pay attention, is originally they said the manager did nothing wrong and the employees did nothing wrong. And they never talked about the fact that this individual was cashing a check at his own bank. He worked in the area and that was his bank. What the, you know. Uh, okay, I like WTH. WTH, what the? What, that, I don't even say that word, ladies and gentlemen. H-E-L-L? Y'all don't hear that word come out of my mouth? I have to struggle to say that word, or when referring to a donkey or a mule, I have to struggle to say the A-double-S word because I don't curse. And those words are often connotated in the form of cursing. And I don't curse. Now, look up the history of cursing. And see where it comes from. And then you'll understand why I have such a big problem with it. Ladies and gentlemen, the bank manager whom is in the background. Let me go ahead and click on this. I already did the video. We're not doing another video on it. Uh, that's why I'm going to blurt the sound just for now. Ladies and gentlemen, that's an advertisement. Nobody cares about you. I, I, I can't stand Google with its stupid ads. And like I said, now Google is doing like five or six or a hundred ads. Court cam, crooked cop caught red-handed. Ladies and gentlemen, this stuff is happening all the time. Do a look at the, we're going to talk about one other thing. Now, this is Kevin Duran. Kevin Duran of Duran Duran? That's right, Kevin Duran of Duran Duran. He got a job now. He ain't singing music no more. Anyway, ladies and gentlemen, he's going to talk about, this is Rasmussen. And he's talking about how this young man was handcuffed. Okay, I, I like the fact that when he wears his mask, <laughs> he keeps his nose out. Man, them things are hard to breathe under. Shoot. Um, that's Joe. This is the manager where they blurt the manager's face. This is the manager telling him that his check is fake. He did so, told him that it was a fake check, that it was a forged check, and he told him that in front of all the employees and all of the people who were in this busy bank this morning. All of them. Humiliating this young man. No matter the young man is sitting there telling him, I work there. This is my check. I got this check from them. He calls the police. Tells the police that he's threatening someone. The police show up. I did the video. Go ahead and take a look at it. And eventually the police, the female comes in and she has only one intent with her racist anus. And that's to arrest him claiming he flinched at somebody. He's got two armed police next to him. He ain't got no gun, and the police gonna say he flinched at someone? And then she's gonna place him under arrest? Please. If he was a threat to that man, he would have done something way prior. Now, mind you, she was called because there was a call that somebody was threatening somebody. But she comes in there not knowing anything. She comes in saying, what's his name? She's speaking to a sergeant. What's his name? The sergeant is standing at the door. What's his name? Because she wants to flex her muscles. She wants to show there's a bunch of men there. Three men and one woman. So she wants to show she's in charge. Ladies and gentlemen, it's all psychological. Let me show you how psychological this stuff is because it is important that you see. We're going to do it this way. TikTok, J U D G E. U S E S R A C I A L. S L U R S. 
We're gonna do judge uses racially black slurs. That's her. <laughs> that's her. That's that hoe right there. Oh God, that's her right there. That's a she. She look mugshot. Trying to make her look like she's the most innocent person in the world. Look at that. I am a hoe, and I want the world to know. That's that's that look she's giving you, ain't she? I am a hoe. Mm hmm. These are not the values of me and my husband. We have a n n n n n n i g g a. No, n i. Wait, that's i g g a. That that ain't nigga. Somebody put in one too many Astro members there, 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 sis, sis, sis. Anyway, we have a Niaga. A U.S. judge can be heard in a video laughing and using racial slurs towards an alleged black, 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 black burglar. Ladies and gentlemen, he's not a burglar. He did not break into the house. They can only get him for attempted burglary, attempting to break into the house. He's not a burglarer. So get it out of your head. To burglarize something, it literally means to break into. He is there for attempting to commit burglary. It's always going to be an attempt. He was caught on video, but the judge couldn't let it go there. No, the judge and her children, at least two of them, she had four children at home, two of them, almost adults, twins, and they're watching the video getting ready to give it to the police. And either the police leaked this video or one of her children leaked this video, but either way, somebody leaked this video and it got to the news. This was recent. So I don't think it was the police who leaked this video because the police in Louisiana are just as racist as the judicial officers are. Louisiana is one of the most racist states there could be. I know because my family's from Louisiana. And I made it a point to never live there. Okay? Aw, judge sentenced white knife-wielding man who yelled racial slurs at black kids. Oh, oh, ages seven and up. Oh, no. And he gave him three years in prison. Ladies and gentlemen, he didn't give him three years in prison because he yelled racial slurs, but it became a hate crime when he had a knife in his hand. There was nothing else that comes from that. That is a hate crime. Okay? He yelled racial slurs with a knife in his hand. That's the judge's technicality. Other than that, the individual would have gotten a couple of months in probation. But because he had a knife, racial slurs, and a quote-unquote, um, dang it, I just had it. And it left my mind because I'm seeing all the rest of this stuff. Racial slurs and uh, hate crime. That's what he gets charged with. Okay, and that's only because it made the news. Aw, Kentucky judge gives a man 60 days in jail for using racial slurs. He, sorry, ladies and gentlemen, you can use racial slurs all you want. That's why this judge used it, and she's still on the bench. She took a leave of absence, but that don't mean nothing. She's still going to remain on the bench. They're going to... This is what I told, okay, the gentleman who told me this is in prison doing life for murder. He is eligible for parole. However, I want you guys to understand something. There is no law, and there can be no law ever for a person using racial slurs. So do not believe this junk right here that the person is being sent to jail for using racial slurs. There is no law. You can say whatever you want. Okay? You can say whatever you want about somebody else's race. Sir, you are clearly a racist. And there is no excuse for that. But that's not why he's being sentenced. 27-year-old sent to prison for racial slurs. He is not sent to prison for racial slurs. It's impossible. There is no law. Aw, New Jersey man caught in racist tirade, a danger, new evidence reveals. The judge says he's a danger. Ladies and gentlemen, that's done to appease. Appease. Aw, 
Don't be racist. The woman believes she saw Maude Aubrey at an unfinished house. Ladies and gentlemen, let me let you guys know something about the Ahmad Arbery case. I have gone to unfinished houses. I've gone to unfinished projects. I didn't go in there to damage anything or to tear up anything. Okay? I went there to take a look at what was being done and the construction because I was curious. Let's get curious. Let's get curious and fall in. You know what I'm saying? So I understood what Ahmad Arbery was doing. There is nothing. Oh, look at that. What you bumping chest for? Yo, rhinos or something? Look at that. Gramercy Way in Mount Laurel, New Jersey. Anger and outrage were centered. And a man on a racist rant. What you see right now? He goes to the ground. You see that little bump right there? Chin check. I, I, no, no, sorry, people. I That would be automatic. That little bump he did right there, it's chin check time. See, he too big not to get chin checked. And when I say chin checked, I promise you, he won't be walking back up to me. I'm, I'm sorry. You're right. I'm a person who hates violence. But this right here, I don't know if I'd be able to control myself. I know for a fact that this guy right here gets a lot of credit. You see how he put his hands up? Because he knows he's being videotaped. But I don't care if I'm being videotaped. The moment you breach that so-called space, ladies and gentlemen, everybody has a three-foot radius around them. That The law recognizes that they have that right to privacy, three feet around them. When you invade that and you make contact, then the person by law, not by me, has the right to defend themselves. <laughs> Hold on. A judge admitted to using racial slurs in reference to a black sheriff deputy and a black law clerk. Okay, who was this judge? Is this your best friend, huh? This is your best friend right here, huh? This is Louisiana, ladies and gentlemen. It's not just this judge. Now, had I not gone through this whole list, wait, let's uh, do me a favor, everybody. I'm not pointing out skin color here. I'm pointing out something that everybody wants to ignore. You know that elephant? Well, he's sitting right there. Don't you see him? He's sitting up there. Look at him drinking up all your water. He's sitting right there. John Bell Edwards has called for a district court judge to step down after she admitted to using racial slurs in a series of text messages. In an interview with local TV station WAFB on Sunday, Judge Jesse LeBlanc said she had repeatedly used racial slurs, including the N-word, which were directed at a black sheriff's deputy and a black law clerk in her district in messages she sent to a man with whom she was having an affair. LeBlanc apologized for her, quote, horrible decision in using those slurs toward Towards those, those people, people saying, she, saying was she was angry and upset, upset at the time, but that there was, that no, was excuse. no excuse. Edward, Edward. Now, hold on, ladies and gentlemen. I give her credit for recognizing there was no excuse. Ladies and gentlemen, she apologized. Sorry, if she says I'm sorry, you have to forgive her. Doesn't mean she get to keep her job, <laughs> okay? You got to forgive her, though. She says she was sorry. Forgive her. Don't hold it. Don't hold her accountable for that. However, ladies and gentlemen, he can't ask her to resign, just like they can't ask the other judge to resign. Do you know why neither of those judges will be resigning? Neither of those judges will be losing anything? Does anybody know? Do you not understand why judges remain on the bench after all of this? Ladies and gentlemen, the reason why judges remain on the bench after all of this stuff, after all of this so-called evidence... So he says he damaged the judiciary. He has no control over that. He's just a governor. He doesn't control judges. That's a different branch of government. That is the Supreme Court justice's job and the judicial misconduct and Congress's job to get rid of the judge. Especially if this judge is an elected official. He has no control over elected officials. She did not breach the public trust. She did this in a private text message text message she should have known better now that's the first thing 
Why do they stay on the bench? Because she knows where the bodies are buried. I'm sorry. Both of these judges have been on the bench for a moment. That means they know what other judges are doing. They've been to all the closed meetings. They know what's going on behind the scenes. They know how the system works. They know what they're doing to people. No, they're not going to fire these judges because, again, they know where the bodies are buried. Uh, Governor, the first thing you need to do is you needed to have had you a couple of tokens in this, in this arena right here. He ain't got no tokens. Ain't no people of color back there. Mm -hmm, you got, look, redneck. Redneck, redneck, red, well, almost redneck, almost redneck, and redneck. Oh, look at that. His neck's starting to turn red, too. Too much sunburn, huh? Sorry, ladies and gentlemen. That was meant to be humor. Oh, he's got a black unit. Okay, okay. He's got some color behind him, okay? All right. He's got some black in the uniform, and so there you go. Let's hold on. Agreed that, agreed that LeBlanc's, LeBlanc's actions, actions were inexcusable, were inexcusable and, and called on her to resign in a statement Wednesday. Wednesday. He, said, he said the admitted, the admitted and, repeated and repeated use of racial slurs, slurs by a judge, by a judge who, has who has taken an oath to administer justice, justice fairly, fairly and impartially and is wrong, is period. Wrong, period. Sadly, Sadly, inequities, inequities still, still exist in society and in our judicial, and our judicial system. system. Judge, judge LeBlanc, LeBlanc has compromised her ability to preside as a judge and she has damaged the judiciary. The people of the 23rd Judicial District and our state deserve better. Hold on. Ladies and gentlemen, that was written by an attorney. That was not written by the governor. Those words are all from an attorney. I can tell because I know how attorneys think. Hold on, what you say, Judge? Multiple calls for her resignation and a formal complaint filed by the NAACP. LeBlanc said she has no plans to step down and will seek re-election. Hold on, ladies and gentlemen. Yeah, she's an elected official, so the governor has no jurisdiction over her. Here's the other thing. What she did did not violate the law. So she can call somebody a nigga. There is nothing, there is no law against that. I told you, you can use racial slurs. There's no law. By the way, when you guys get a chance, take a look at this uh, video right here. Why, why these buildings are half empty? Billionaires Row. Take a look at that video. I promise you, it's going to make you think. I promise you, it's going to make you think. Now, this is what I want to show you guys. You see this junk right here? The Battle of Midway. I don't watch that. Okay, Republicans, I don't watch that. Don't talk to police. Now I'll watch that, okay? Uh, committee, of, I don't watch that. I don't care about that. Why did you dismiss the lab leak? I don't watch that. I don't care about this junk that's over here, okay? Man sentenced for hanging and burning a black man. I'll, I'll probably not watch it, but I it would catch my interest. Is he, are you going to say he's a serial rapist? Hold on. I can't see the full title. Man, that wind outside, y'all got some storms coming y'all way. And that wind outside just rocked this trailer, okay? It's been doing it for about the last hour. So people, y'all got some winds coming y'all way. I don't, I didn't mean to go to that video. I want to go to this one. Uh, suspected serial killer. New t details of arrest of suspected serial killer. We start with ladies a developing story. From hold, hold on, ladies and gentlemen. Willie, if Willie was a suspected serial killer, this is unusual because blacks are not usually serial killers. That's why the one in Louisiana, the one that was killing all them kids. Okay, don't know if he did it. Don't know the evidence. Didn't watch the case. But it is very unusual for a black person to be a serial killer. You know, well, technically, black people can be serial killers. We usually call them gang members. <laughs> just kidding! Just kidding! Just kidding! I'm just kidding, okay? No, I'm not. All right, ladies and gentlemen. Yes, I, he, he's kidding, y'all. He's kidding. Disclaimer, do not listen to anything that mother say because he ain't gonna know what he's talking about. What? Gang members are serial killers. They kill people all the time. Not every gang member kills people. Don't let him tell y'all that. Yes, they do. I done seen them. No, I haven't because if I admit I've seen them, then guess what? Ladies and gentlemen, I have been in prison. I have heard people. They are not afraid to tell me because they know that I won't tell people what they told me. Well, you're telling people now? No, I'm telling people of scenarios. They have told me the amount of people they have killed. They're not bragging to me. They're asking me to help them with their cases. Ladies and gentlemen, what classifies a serial killer?
let's see what the definition of a serial killer is. Anybody want to go take this trip with me? I'm interested. And then let's see who really is a serial killer. What is the defi? Hold on. Of a S E R I A L serial number. K I L L E R. You a killer, mother. You just a stupid natural bone killer. You act like you Woody Harrison. All right, ladies and gentlemen. Uh oh. Look at that. Means a series of three or more killings, not less than one of which was committed within the United States. Ladies and gentlemen, a serial killer is someone who kills three or more individuals. So how come they do not attribute that name to individuals who are convicted of killing three or more people? We hear about it all the time. I was in Puerto Rico and there was two people, two boys. They, these idiots were 20 and 21 or something like that when they were arrested. Their neighbor sent them over to one of his tenants' homes to get the rent money because they hadn't paid in three months. So he sends these two over to the house to kind of get them to give them the money. You know, want to intimidate them a little bit? Well, they ended up killing the entire family, the grandmother, the mother, the father, and the daughter. And then they killed one of the boys but the other boy they beat up because they ran out of bullets they literally beat up and they were going to beat him to death and he escaped how did he escape because they ran out of bullets they beat him to death they thought he was dead and they dropped him from a bridge that had no water at the bottom just rocks dropped him from a bridge onto a bed of rocks. Well, ladies and gentlemen, the little boy survived. He climbed up out of the riverbank, the dry riverbank, and he made his way to a house. And they called the police, and the two idiots were arrested. That young man is going to have to suffer for that and this happened more than 10 years ago, so I don't know how that young man is doing today, but he's going to have to suffer with that for the rest of his life, seeing his family dead <clears throat> and these two idiots. If only you guys could know how much one of the idiots who happened to have been in a cell next to me suffered every single day to the point that I felt sorry for him. I mean, he was trying to cause me more problems than could possibly be caused. And I wanted to hurt him, but I couldn't get to him because I was locked down. And he happened to be in the cell next to me, locked down. And I'm not joking. If I had been in the same cell with him, I definitely would have manhandled him. He would have been submissive after I would have put him in his place. I'm not saying that I'm violent. I'm saying that I would have had enough of him. That's the problem with us people. We think we can take control of other people because of what they say. No, this individual was trying to put my life in danger. So I probably, most definitely, if he had been in the same cell, I probably would have put hands on him because they wouldn't have moved him out of my cell. That was Puerto Rico. They didn't like me very much. But I promise you he is suffering, and he's going to be suffering for a while. Not just because of what he did, because this was, they did this, this was the first time they did this. These idiots just started shooting people and they panicked. So they wanted to kill all the witnesses. I don't know what made them think they were going to get away with something like that. This, these are the people that they had me around. These are the people they had me around. This is what they continued to do. I was, they, what, when they put me in there, they put me around murderers. Individuals who have been committed several murders, not just one or two, serial killers. I do want you guys to understand, this is not the first time, well, actually, this is the first time I'm looking up serial killer, but this is not the first time I've understood what a serial killer is. 
Ladies and gentlemen, you kill more than three people, you are a serial killer. That's right. All you need is some milk. And you can sit up there and get you some Cocoa Pops and be cuckoo. Because you gotta be stupid. Uh, adjective. Police say four bodies discovered and two at two different locations. Okay. Everyone who kills more than three people are serial killers, ladies and gentlemen. And we don't give them that title. But YouTube definitely was going to give that young man the title of being a serial killer. They, they literally called him a serial killer. Why? Because if they call him a serial killer, pay attention. If they call him a serial killer, guess what they do? He gets more time. I mean, how can you get life times three or four? Ain't that a shame? Since the 23rd, this thing has had 900,000 views. Why? So he's being charged with murder and attempted murder. How many people are you claiming that he's murdered? The man who helped people find homes for a living preyed on vulnerable people without homes. Such twisted irony. May those innocent victims rest in peace. He hasn't even been convicted, you ignorant mother. Okay. See, they want to play that guilty until, uh, or innocent until guilty and all that stuff, proven and all that. But pay attention, ladies and gentlemen. Because of the way the news portrays it, of course they use the word suspected. Of course they put suspected in all capital letters, but they put the whole sentence in capital letters. Of course they use the word suspected. But they know they're trying to put this shot up here to prove that he's guilty. You see how this side is darker than this side? Because they doctor the videos. You see how they got his mouth looking like he's mad? Because they doctor the footage. Whenever you see a mugshot, you better believe like the OJ case proved. Yes, that's right. Johnny Cochran proved that they altered OJ's photo when they plastered it. Because that's the thing. They know that the public is going to see this and who's going to be on the jury. Isn't it the public? That's why they do this. Hey, hey for the monkeys. All right, ladies and gentlemen, I didn't want to take up all of your times. I just wanted to show you, like I said, these things are going on. People say there is no racism. There is no racism. Now, you get a, watch this. Hold on. We put judges use racially black slurs. Uh, watch this. C-O-N-V-I-C-T-E-D of... K-I-L-L-I-N-G Fo P-E-O-P-L-E -E. Man convicted of killing four people. Ladies and gentlemen, he's not a serial killer. See? This is... Now, ladies and gentlemen, let me explain something to you about this driver. So they gave him 110 years, which was illegal. Let me explain something to you about the driver of this truck. He went through training... They never trained him to go down the grapevine. The one thing they will tell you is once you're going down a steep grade, this is how they talk, you need to be in low gear. You cannot shift while you're going downhill. Ladies and gentlemen, here is the thing. The transmission is spinning too fast for you to put that vehicle in gear. Once you start going downhill, a truck, unlike a car, cannot apply its brakes because it's carrying too much weight. You will burn out the brakes so that the brakes will not connect to the drums. That's what he went through because no one taught him how to travel that grade. And I believe he was in Colorado or something. You all need to understand something. It's not his fault. It's the fault of the people who trained him. He was not prepared for that heel. This is why all the other drivers are upset. He never should have been on that hill. He never should have been on that route. Yes, they said he passed the so-called, um, what do you call that stupid lane? Runaway ramp. He passed the runaway ramp and he had several other opportunities. No, he didn't. If he had tried to make all those other things, the crash would have been even worse. Pay attention, people. When they train truck drivers, they don't train truck drivers. Hold on, I got the doggies. 
and they are letting me know that they're awake. Y'all awake? Doggies? They're awake. I just wanted to make sure they weren't shut in. So they see me now. We're about to go outside. I'm about to feed them because it's 7 o'clock in the morning. They need to eat. Ladies and gentlemen, man convicted of killing four people in Colorado bridge crash. See, that's that's him. Okay. Oh uh, No, that's not even him. There's a different person. That's a different person, ain't it? Is that the same? That's not the same person. No, no, no. Go home. Go, go. We're going to go outside in a minute. Go on now. Go on now. Sounds like somebody knocking on the door. That's just the dog scratching himself. Okay. Now, we don't want the truck driver. I put in foe. Okay. And all they want to do is talk about truck driver. Because he killed four people. So, let's see. Video shows fiery cash that killed four people in pickup truck. Let's do, let's do five. Okay, now, black man, guess what? No, notice that he ain't called a serial killer. Then we got man charged and crashed that killed five people, including four members of the same family. He's not called a serial killer. Man accused of shooting five people in San Diego, killing one. Okay, that's just... Yeah, I, we, we're not talking about five people. We're talking about killing five people. Ohio man in custody suspected of killing five people in 48 hours. Now, they're going to call him a serial killer, okay, because he killed five people in 48 hours. Virginia man accused of killing neighbor found guilty of first-degree murder, but that's only one person, okay? A DUI crash killed five, don't care. Uh, sentence killed five family members. That's supposed to be a serial killer, but he ain't gonna be called a serial killer. Convicted of murder, police officer pulled the trigger. Whoa, whoa, whoa. but a police officer pulled the trigger. Yeah, he's convicted of murder because they're saying that it's because of him that the police officer pulled the trigger. What the only reason why I'm showing you this is so that all of you know that individuals are accused of killing more than three people all the time, and they are not called serial killers. This right here, I, I couldn't even watch this story because this young man right here, several times, he had been with the, been arrested by the police and they didn't search him and he had a gun on him. All because he wasn't black. If he had been black, he would have been searched. They would have gotten him for carry a concealed weapon. Okay. But he killed himself in a police car. Okay. All right. This is just me showing you guys what goes on all the time. And this stuff really does bother me. Really does bother me greatly. But I can't do anything about it because this is this is our society. Hey, everybody, I just definitely wanted to show you that the young man, and just a recap, wanted to show you. Oh, uh, no, we're going to go outside in a second, okay? Come here. We're gonna go out, come here. We're going to go outside in a second. Uh, I just wanted to show you about the young man who the police uh, arrested in the bank put handcuffs on because he was trying to cash a check just wanted to show you that he settled that case and that the manager was fired all right y'all have a good day we're gonna talk later gotta go